<laughs> yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a Thursday here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's go up to our friends up in the uh, at the top end. Of course, uh, and this weekend it is a pretty critical final match uh, for the Sun uh, Districts Crocs. Of course, in the other 18s because. Uh, they play St. Mary's in the Premier League Finals. We have a chance to play Darwin uh, in the Grand Final next week because we've got two very special guests joining us right now from the under-18s team to tell us all about it. Thanks both for joining us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will get both of you to introduce yourselves and tell us what position both of you play on the field. Um, I'm Holly Harvey and I play centre-half back <laughs> I'm Grace with a client. I play midfield forward. Now, tell us a bit about the final series. You've had one win, one loss uh, so far. Uh, of course, a pretty critical one in the prelim final uh, this weekend. But tell us a bit about the finals run because I think uh, you've lost by about 20 points and then you've smashed uh, your opponents last week, Palmerston, by about five goals. So tell us a bit yep. about the up and down the final series. Um, we sort of started off a bit shaky against, I think it was Buffaloes we versed. Um, was it Buffaloes? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we had Buffaloes and, um, oh, it was just, it was a bit of a scrappy game for us, but we sort of came back last week against Palmerston pretty hard because we really want to, want to get there so it was a it was a really good game so yeah we were really switched on against yeah. Palmerston whereas Buffaloes we weren't that switched on yeah sort of didn't expect them to come out as ferocious as they did yeah <laughs> but yeah how much motivation was the Palmerston game in regards to you didn't want to go out in straight sets and and especially I guess knowing that every game now from here on is an elimination game Yeah, um, going into the Palmerston game, we knew it was sort of a bit more crucial if we wanted to sort of be in that position to have that second chance. And yeah, I guess there was a lot more intensity in the Palmerston game. Yeah, because we knew if we lost, we'll be out. Yeah. Now you limited them to three behinds uh, in that game. Uh, and then I actually spoke to Taylor about this uh, the other night. But uh, what happened down the other end of the field? Uh, was it about four goals, ten or something something like that? <laughs> yeah. Um, My fault. No. <laughs> it was – look, it was – It was. I don't even know because I wasn't even down at him, but it was good was because – Yeah, it was good because the defence didn't have to do much work. Like, the midfield did so well, like, carrying it through. And, yeah, I think – just couldn't get them through the no, it was middle windy. Of <laughs> it was windy. <laughs> the wind took it a bit, yeah, yeah, to be fair. And we just, we didn't, like, <laughs> settled down, you know. We yeah. just rushed, but. But we worked on that at training. Yeah. A bit, so. So, so, so blaming the weather. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Weather's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was so windy. Oh. <sighs> uh. Now, how's the preparations like heading towards uh, this critical prelim final? Well, yeah, it's pretty intense. Like, we know it's a big game for us, but it's sort of like a challenge that we've been waiting for for a long time. Um, St Mary's have been on top of the ladder pretty much the whole season. And I think it's a really good opportunity for us to just give it all we've got at the moment because, yeah, like it's elimination. So we want to get to the big grand final. Yeah. How have you sped against St. Mary's throughout the season? We actually did, like, before we did really, like, quite good. Like, we only lost by not much. It was only five points in the, like, the game before we versed them. Yeah, but then we played them again and we got flogged. Yeah, but flogged. it's been sort of up and down throughout the year with St. Mary's. Um, they have a lot of their players go up and down all throughout their like us. So... When we verse each other, it's always like a big rivalry sort of thing, but it'll be good. How much of a motivation is to beat St Mary's, but also, I guess, hopefully get rid of what happened in past season where you got to this point of the final series and then obviously didn't get to the big dance? Yeah, it's sort of like we really want to... There's heaps of motivation to this week's like training and 
preparations to the game. We really want to make it to that grand final. And I feel like we deserve it. Our teams work so hard. Yeah. And all year. Yeah. I think it'd be really good for our team. And I really do think we've got a serious shot of it. So. Tell us about this team and what makes this team so special throughout the year. I don't know we all just get along like really well and like like it just flows like everything yeah actually. everything just flows yeah we've, and yeah there's been heaps of people come and go from our team but we've always stuck with our same structure and always built off each other and yeah I think we're just a it's just the club as well like everyone's behind us and trying to push us to make us go further so it's a really good environment to be in yeah, and there's quite a few new girls that were here. Like, yeah. they started this year and they've improved, like, so well. crazy yeah. improved. So, yeah. Now, I spoke to Taylor and obviously her uh, teammate who Chloe? has got... Yeah, Chloe, who's gone back to Queensland this week. Um, how much have you tried to convince her to come back and uh, hopefully play in the grand final you get past this prelim? Oh, she will. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if, if we do, she'll be there, like yeah. for sure. But I think it's a bit more also like a motivation for us girls to want to win and get hopefully get her back up here because that would be awesome. And like looking around, like these girls, I don't want to finish training. You know, like we don't want this to be our last training. So I think it's just all about the motivation. Tell us a bit about your amazing head coach. Uh, <laughs> like <laughs> he's just there. Um, no, nah, he's, he's pretty good. He's always backed us no matter what we want to do he pushes some of us up to prems and yeah he just he really believes in us which is what you want in a coach yeah he's he's really supportive and like like he'll support you with whatever you want to do and your choices like he'll just back you up 100 yeah. percent he's a, he's pretty he's pretty hard coach too but he just wants the best for us so yeah um now, you mentioned about the Prem's team uh, just a moment ago. How much of the senior women's Prem's team have they helped both of you throughout your football journey, especially this season? I'm assuming that they've come down to training a couple of times. Like Lala and stuff. Yeah, well, we have Lala, our assistant coach, and she's she's pretty amazing. She'll come and help us out some, through some of our trainings. And she's just, yeah, like another big motivation for us and – Sometimes she just lightens it a bit when Lane can be a bit uh, angry at trainings, but no, nah, she's she's great to be around and she really pushes us as well. So yeah, the te- the um, women's team as well, they're really like yeah, m- like they're motivated and we sort of like look up to them as well to yeah. like for our role models and stuff to see. Yeah, this is Casey as well, our our captain. I- <laughs> Well, I might as well get her to introduce herself anyway. Uh, and, of course, what position she plays on the field, Captain? Um, my name's Casey. I play Ruck, Ruck Rover, centre forward. <laughs> wherever, she, <laughs> wherever she's needed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Lace wants to put me on the day. Yeah. Now, Casey, um, I already asked this question to your two amazing teammates beside you, which I'm going to ask you now. How much of a motivation is for you as captain to try to guide this team to the grand final after what's happened in the past, getting to this point and just falling short? Uh, You know, it'd be really amazing to win the grand final this year. Last year, we didn't make it too far into the finals and all the last years, the same team has won. So it'd be really cool to, you know, take the girls into the finals and win it, obviously. Uh, Now... For all three, how did all three get involved in footy and why did you choose it? Um, I sort of started, my friends, they told me to come and play. Uh, it was three years ago and I just sort of, I was a bit nervous starting it, but once I started, I loved it because it was so different to what I was used to. And yeah, just the people that I play with, they're pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, If I'm being honest, I just wanted the shorts. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I played, I played one game of under 12s and I was like, I'm not playing with the boys. So I just went straight to under 15s and then. And she's one of the best in our team now. So, um, and then, <laughs> 15 years old. oh yeah. And then we have another, I mean, and then, yeah, I played, just played 18s after that. Uh, I started in under 12s cause my brother played 
and I actually play with the boys. I'm like, crazy. <laughs> and then, yeah, just from there, just kept going up the ranks. Now, what will be a highlight threat all through your football journey so far? Oh, I don't know. I reckon this year has been pretty good for footy. Um, just with the girls that I've been playing with, I made hack heaps of friends through footy and Oh, I'd just say this year, just the season's been really good. Yeah. Um, my highlight probably would be just like getting, like just playing. I, I, I really enjoy playing and just getting around the girls. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mum would be coming to this club. I came from another club and it's just a big change. <laughs> and what does the sport of football mean to all three of you, and especially playing there at the, at the Crocs? Um, football sort of means to me, I guess, just having that environment where I guess I can be myself. <laughs> but uh, it was, it's a really good feeling. And each year, like at the end of the year, I look forward to it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I grew up with footy, like everyone in my family played footy, but. I don't know. I just enjoy the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably the environment at our club. It's really good. Yeah. We all we all know each other. We're all friends. You know, everybody gets around each other. It's good. Now, all three just mentioned right at the start what position you all played on the field. If you had a preferred position where you love to convince your coaches to put you, where would that be? Oh, I'm happy at the back. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good there. Um, yeah, it's back for me. Um, forward, to be honest, I really don't like the midfield. <laughs> midfield, I don't like the forward line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, do either of you have any future ambitions in the sport of football? Uh, <laughs> I love footy, like I do, but I don't know if it's, I'll play footy with these girls for as long as I can, but I don't think there's anything more for me. <laughs> I mean, if I could make a day for W, I would. <laughs> I would go, but. Yeah, if I could, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, it would be pretty good. much the same. <laughs> if the opportunity is given to us, I think we'd take it, but yeah. Now, obviously with the seasons about to finish, hopefully not this weekend, but Obviously, the ultimate uh, weekend, uh, the following weekend. Uh, either of you going to be playing football somewhere else during the, I guess, the winter months? I won't be. Um, <laughs> I'm currently out at the moment for this week. But, um, yeah, footy sort of finishes off for me now. And then I'll just have to wait till August or whenever it starts up again. Um, me and Casey are in the Thunder team. So okay. we have, we'll play throughout the whole year until our season starts up again and we'll play a few games in like Melbourne and stuff and like train with Gold Coast Suns and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the question I want to ask you, Grace, in, um, in case as well, um, is mention about the you both be playing with the Thunder team uh, once this season concludes. Um, what does that mean to you to play for the Thunder? in the off season? Well, I don't know, it's pretty big for me because I'm still only 15 and I have to get like dispensations to play like, cause it's under 19s. And yeah, I, I reckon it's good, but yeah. Yeah, it's just like a really good opportunity for us. Just being NT players in general, you know, to go down south. It's not something that I do often. Mm. Now the question I really ask or my uh, guests, and I actually asked Tain, uh, Chloe this question on Monday, which I'm going to ask all three now. How good is it to play with each other on the same team? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. Like, if anything happens on the field, you know, like, these girls will have your back out there. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a really good environment, even just when, when we walk on the footy field for a game, you just know we've all got each other's back, so, yeah. Everyone has each other's backs, like, no matter what. Yeah. Captain? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Now, let's finish on a couple of lighthearted questions about your teammates. Firstly, who had the most embarrassing moment on the field this season and what was it? <laughs> oh, I don't know, this is embarrassing for anyone else, but for me, I used to have like really long hair and like every game my hair would just get yanked and like you just see my head just like jolt back and I don't know, sometimes I fell and it was really embarrassing, but that was just for me. Mm. What about Molly when she got her hand, pants pulled down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she went, no. <laughs> yeah, she got her pants pulled down. That was pretty funny. Um, there's nothing really else that's yeah. been I didn't carry it off. That was pretty embarrassing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not embarrassing. Not embarrassing. Mm. Yeah. That's about it. Uh, who's the comedian in the team? Um. It is pretty funny. Black and life. <laughs> 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 yeah, life definitely tries to be. Yeah, life definitely tries to be the comedian, but he's not. Mm. The more he's more dangerous. Yeah. I don't know. Gigi. Yeah, Gigi. She's pretty funny. <laughs> she's, she's whack. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty whack. Gotta laugh at her. Though. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, any good singers and dancers we should know about or just into their TikToks? Um, <gasps> Sophie Berry. Um, okay, <laughs> if we're doing TikTok shout outs. Oh, <laughs> um, um, oh yeah. We Michaela's should have got always famous. TikTok da dancing. Yeah, um, Michaela, she loves a bit of a TikTok Michaela dance. Shaw. <laughs> Michaela Shaw. What's her TikTok? Uh, underscore. I think it's Michaela Shaw at seven. That's my guess. Um, <laughs> Who sings? Sophie. Oh, she always is singing. singing. Um, we've Too got a much. girl named Kaya and she looks like Zendaya. <laughs> like that famous girl. Yeah, yeah. she does. Um, Ollie likes the TikTok dance too. Mm. Yeah, Renegade. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, I have to ask, do either of you have a pre-game superstition or ritual? Never smiling? No. Yeah. Um, I put my left boot on. Well, that's just... <laughs> that's everything. I put my left shoe on every... Really? Yeah. I was going to say, but I have to go to the bathroom every time. <laughs> I play, but... Mm. don't know. Yeah, I don't Made know. Mm. Yeah, not really. <laughs> not really anything. Now, do either of you have a pump-up song um, prior to a game? Yes, um, the new the new Cardi B up song. <laughs> it really, really, really gets me going. What's that song that I always that I played that one time? The no, rose happy? No. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That one time you were happy. Yeah. That one. It was just this song. I have to get it now. It's not. I think we have to. Yeah. Now, Casey, I need to ask you this question. Um, captain, how special is it to be captain of this team? What does it mean to you? Yeah, it is really special because these are really good, really good bunch of girls. You know, they each got their own talents, but you know, when we all bring it together, it's really nice. Now, the same question I'm going to ask to your two other teammates next to you as well. How special is that Casey's uh, your captain for this year? Um, Case is a really good leader for our team. She just, she's a really good role, mo role model, just playing on the field and off the field. So you can't really doubt her in any way. She's, she's always like supported us girls and led us to the right direction. So yeah, she's always like been there for us and a really good role model too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now Casey, I need to ask you this question, which I've asked. Uh, your two teammates already this question, which is tell us a bit about your coach. I really like Lo as a coach and as a person. He's a bit grumpy, but light up at the start of the games and he'll always be there for us, like always offering us lifts or even if like, yeah. someone just looks upset. He's making them run right now. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just run up and down the field. Now we'll finish up with this last two, which is what would be your advice to people out there that should get involved in footy, especially there at, at the Crocs? Just do it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's you that you make so much friends and yeah, it's such a good club it. to be around. It's a good vibe. There's yeah. a vibe always. Yeah. And everyone's supporting each other. Like no one's ever putting each other down. So 100% recommend.
And for anyone out there who's coming to Darwin to play for the Crocs, who have no idea where it is, uh, where is uh, your home ground? Just Ooh, past, just highlight. past the Mackers. <laughs> just past the Cooling Mackers. Yeah, Cooling Golf. <laughs> just like drive a bit and yeah. just turn. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Near the cricket oval. Well, all three, thank you so much for getting up your time to join us uh, prior to training tonight. Uh, best of luck um, this weekend coming up uh, in the prelim final. I think it's actually tomorrow night, I'm pretty sure, um, yeah. uh, which is uh, the prelim final against St. Mary's. Let's hope you uh, can go all the way and win it uh, in that prelim, go straight through to the grand final, hopefully get some revenge on the, on the Buffaloes uh, from uh, what they did to you in that qualifying final. Yeah, thank crossed. you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No worries, and of course that is, uh, of course, the under eighteen uh, girls tender at uh, the Sun Districts uh, Crocs. Of course, uh, if you're in the Darwin area, you want to support the Mighty Crocs uh, in 2021 uh, final series. Of course, we'll put all the details up oh, on how you can get to the ground, and of course, uh, um, support the Mighty Crocs uh, in 2021. There's more on the Smash Board Show right after this. Don't go away. Here on the 10th Year Celebration.